Hello student, welcome back. This is Vasant Naik from Vastek channel. Today, we will continue the microprocessor and microcontroller module 1 session. Module one session. So, before explaining the concept, uh, let me tell you the, the question may be uh, asked in the exam is, what is the structure of assembly language program? So the, this is the answer. Assembly language program, uh, so uh, ALP structure is something like this, uh, which contains uh, assembly language instruction, uh, and each instruction is made of uh, mnemonics and operands. Uh, so I have explained you what is mnemonics. Uh, it is a command to the CPU. Please refer my earlier videos. And operands. Uh, operand is the action taken on the uh, data. So for example, if I write add ax comma bx. Then, if I write uh, add ax comma bx, then that will add the content of bx to ax and show the result in ax. So here, add is called as opcode. Ax and bx are the operands, and other than that, you have, you can write the command. You can write the label. So this is the entire instruction of uh, assembly language program. This is the instruction structure of assembly language program. So please remember this one. Other than that, uh, we have other, other one more instruction. Move bx comma cx. Here you have to remember. This is right hand side is the source and left hand side is the destination. So the content of cx is moved to bx. And the content after the operation, content of BX is, will get changed. Content of CX will not get changed. It will remain same as it is. So, this is one more instruction. Then, other than that, here you can see, see this one. This says this instruction is illegal. This says this instruction is illegal. Which one? Let me point this one properly. So in the diagram, you can see this instruction is illegal. That means you cannot move direct value to segment register. That provision is not there. You cannot move the value directly to segment register, any one of the segment register. So that is illegal. Here also you can see this value cannot move to code segment register. That is illegal. Clear? Okay, next. Next one is... Uh, that is the uh, one point you have to remember. Values cannot be loaded directly into any segment register. Second point is uh, if the value is uh, uh, like uh, less than 16 bit, uh, then uh, all the remaining bits are treated as zero. For example, here you can see move bx, this one, move bx comma 5. bx is 16 bit, data is uh, 8 bit. So rest of the 8 bits are considered as 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5. It is considered as 0, 0, 0, 5. That means BH contains 0, 0 and BL contains a 0, 5. Third one. Moving larger value, uh, then, uh, then the size of the register will cause an error. For example, uh, this is 8-bit register. See this one. This is 8-bit register. First one here. This is 8-bit register. I am moving uh, value more than 8-bit. That is that will cause the error. This is 16 bit register, the second instruction. I am moving this value, see here, around uh, 8 bit, 8 bit, 8 bit. I am moving uh, 24 bit. That is causes error. That you that points you have to remember. Third point. Then here you see this example. Value I am moving directly directly to the register and adding the register. 
so in this uh, which is uh, which is the instruction ke is uh, illegal here this instruction is illegal see this instruction is illegal why the value is this value is larger than section bit how many bits here each digit will take four bits four 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 twenty bits not possible then this one this is the value you cannot directly move to the segment register this is illegal right this is illegal then other than that uh this is also illegal this is also illegal so all these things we should uh, remember from the exam point of view so now introduction to segments what is segments it is the area of memory it is the block of memory segments it is a block of memory memory is divided into different blocks the size of the blocks may can be up to 64 kb and uh, uh, address of the segments always begins with the divisible by 16 please remember in 8085 all these uh, three types of segments were there in one segment in 8086 uh, we have around 16 segments uh, uh four ca segments four uh, da segments uh, and four uh, stack segments and four extra segments uh. so it will uh, total take 1 mb of uh, address now what is physical address and uh, what is logical address and what is offset address we will see this one in the in this session so three types of address one is called physical address physical address is the actual address it is a 20 bit address that is actually put on the address pins of 8086 microprocessor and decoded by the memory interfacing circuit that means uh, if i want to explain you in this way then you will be better understand for example suppose this is the microprocessor this is the our microprocessor and this is the memory this is the memory memory is divided into segment so this is the memory so the memory address is represented by 20 bit address so because 20 bit address is why it is 20 bit because our microprocessor has got uh, 20 address lines our microprocessor has got 20 address lines that is from a0 to a0 to a19 this 20 address lines can address 1 mb of memory this is 1 mb and this 1 mb is for for the further further management memory management is divided into different segments and this is we call code segment this is we call data segment this is we call Uh, stack segment and this is we call uh, extra segment how you represent this 20 bit memory 20 bits memories are represented in five digit in hexa that is starting from 000000 to final address is uh, something like this f f f f and uh, f this is the memory address final address so the final address is something like this please remember here since it each uh, segment takes 24k this is 20, uh, sorry 64k this is 64k this is 64k and this is 64k and this is 64k totally we have used here 256k FFF means I am writing here the last location 1 MB. Here it is uh, 256. I can still extend this one uh, to write uh, the last location. That is what is the last location? As I said, uh, what is the last location? F F F F. That is the last location. This is not the last location. This is just uh, the 256th location. Clear? 256K. So now this. So. 20 bit address put on a microprocessor pins to address this one is called as a physical address but what is offset address offset address is the any location in the memory that is called as offset address 
For example, I will write here, I will take I will clear this one. For example, let me draw only code segment. This is suppose if you think this is the code segment register, this is 64 KB. Size of this code segment register is 64 KB. Starting address is 0, 0. Let me take starting address 0, 0, 0, 0. The ending address 64 KB is something like uh, I can write 0, F, 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 F. This is the ending address of this segment. What is the starting address of the next segment? Uh, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Something like this. Now, you can see here, for this entire segment, uh, this uh, the final digit is same. So, what we will do, we will consider only 4 digits. 4 digits means 16 bits. So, this 16 bit address uh, will differentiate uh, any location in the memory and uh, that one is, that location is called as uh, offset address. Any ad location identified by this 16-bit uh, address that is called as offset address. Then what is logical address? Logical address is uh, segment address, uh, segment address uh, plus offset address plus uh, colon offset address. For example, uh, code segment, uh, in code segment uh, colon 1, 2, 3, 4 location. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 location. That is logical address. This is the way of writing logical address. Code segment. For example, in the class, for particular uh, uh, this one, uh, student, uh, university will give USA number. For example, uh, uh, 17 CS. Uh, for example, 17. Uh, co uh, this one, uh, co uh, college code. Uh, then uh, this one, uh, CS or IS, something like that. And... Uh, uh, student uh, number like uh, 0 to 4 something like that that entire USN university serial uh, uh, number is called as uh, I can say here I can compare I can uh, give analogy to physical address but in the, in the class if you uh, if you see from the point of a class uh, then uh, particular student at uh, number 24 24 is uh, like uh, offset address offset address. So logical address is uh, something combination of uh, C, uh, this one segment registers and uh, offset address that is called as a logical address. So please remember three types of address are there physical address, offset address and a logical address.